This is Marty with Marty's Diesel and today's video is going to cover our old body style e-fuel wiring harness update for 2024. This kit will retrofit back on our older systems and if you have an older kit, you can still follow this instructional video. Let's get started by going over this photo that is uploaded on our website. I have included lifelike images in this illustration to help make it easier to understand. The wires in this photo match the size, shape, location, and general routing as what we expect you to be able to recreate on your own truck. In this video, I am going to start with a relay and move counterclockwise on this illustration. For our relay setup, there are only four pins on the relay that you need to use. The 30 leg is a 10 gauge red wire that goes to the circuit breaker and continues on to the 12 volt source, which in this case will be the power feed for the fuse box. The 85 leg is a 14 gauge red wire and is the positive signal wire. This wire connects to an ATA fuse located at the number 5 fuse location. This wire is for your key on signal to turn the pump on. The 86 leg is a 14 gauge black wire that supplies ground for your relay. I prefer to keep it close to the relay and share it with the ground for the pump so you only have one ground to check when diagnosing your electrical system. The 87 leg is a 14 gauge red wire that goes to the Deutsch connector on the pump. You are supplied with enough wire to make all of these connections in the areas we suggest. So let's move on to the Deutsch connector for your fuel pump. In this photo, I have three examples of the specific harnesses we use in these kits. We offer two different short side harnesses depending on which pump you choose, and then one longer harness that will attach to either one of them. The two short harnesses are pump specific. B stands for Bosch and W stands for Walbro. The longer harness pictured here will work with both. The red wire on all three harnesses represents the 85 leg and the black wire needs to be routed to a ground location. We typically attach it to the same bolt we use to ground the 86 leg on the relay. Now let's move over to the fuse box located behind your air filter. Remove your power supply cover for your fuse box and then also the lid to your fuse box. In the illustration, I have included a photo of the actual fuse box with a red arrow that shows the cover you need to remove to pull 12 volt for your 30 leg. I've also included a blue arrow that points to the blue 15 amp fuse I want you to tap into. Our fuse tap will come with a fuse already installed in it. Also, make sure when you install this fuse tap that the wire pigtail faces the firewall. On this next illustration, I show you three ways we have successfully routed the wire out of the fuse box without issue. You will have to trim the lid and then drill a small hole for the wire to pass through. Moving along, we find ourselves at the circuit breaker. This circuit breaker will be covered with a rubber boot to protect your connections from the elements. The copper stud is where the power comes in from the battery and the silver stud connects to the 30 leg of the relay. In the event of a wiring fault or trip, this circuit breaker is equipped with a button to reset it. You will not have to worry about replacing any fuses here. This entire wiring harness is designed specifically for this truck and is overbuilt for the application. We size every terminal correctly and supply it to you so there is no guesswork and no special trips to the auto parts store. I have included an illustration that will show the four electrical connections that you will have to make. The other 12 electrical connections are pre-made here in our shop. Be sure to use the supplied heat shrink after you make your connections. From this point forward, these four connectors can be found inside your extras bag, along with one extra of every other connector in the entire kit. Also included in your extras bag are four stainless steel self-tapping screws. You only need three, but I bet you'll drop one, so be careful. Use three screws to mount the relay and circuit breaker as seen in this photograph. Oftentimes, I will mock up the relay and breaker and then mark the holes on the firewall. After that, I will pre-drill the holes with a drill bit that is smaller than the self-tapper. Then use the self-tapping screws to mount everything onto the firewall. Be sure that you can still access the reset button on the circuit breaker. That wraps up everything you need to know about our old body style e-fuel conversion kit and wiring harness update for 2024. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to give us a call and our phone number is 410-392-3262.
and our email is martysdiesel at gmail.com. To cap off this video, I have some live footage of our install for you to enjoy. Thanks.